mess. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and welcome back to the vlogs. Okay, I just tried to pick up my hamper and it went nowhere. Today is a Wednesday, and the reason why I'm vlogging, well, there's a few reasons why I'm vlogging. Number one, it's 6 p.m. and it's a gorgeous, really, really hot day in New York City, and there's so much sunlight still, so, you know, I like vlogging more in the natural light because it just, I don't know, I feel like you can't really see me that well, and the lighting in this apartment is very yellow when I'm, like, vlogging with just, like, the lights being turned on. Um, and... What was the other? Oh, on Friday, I have to go into work, number one. And I also am not allowed to just have a half day. So I'm going to be in work for a full day until actually past a full day because I'll be there until like 6.30 p.m. I think. And I'm doing a seminar with one of our brands. So that's exciting, but also, you know, not feeling that great about not being able to work from home slash have a summer Friday because last Friday and I think the Friday before I was in the office for both of those and obviously it's a perk that we have for me to be able to have a half day and for me to be able to work from home for some of those half days um, and it's a perk I would like to take advantage of but sometimes if I can't then I can't really complain about it because this is life so um, that's why I'm picking up the camera I am just currently folding all this laundry because I think it was my last vlog. I was telling you guys that I was going to have like a nice little pickup day where I was going to just unpack everything and I just didn't. So now it's three days later and I'm trying to get all this stuff unpacked and ready because going to bed last night, I don't know if you guys experienced this, but going to bed with a very like cluttered I mean, everything was toward the end of my bed near my desk, so it's not like it was in my face, but knowing that there's just stuff that needs to be put away that shouldn't be out, I went to bed and I did not get the best night of sleep. I don't know if that was exactly the reason why, but it definitely contributed to it when I was trying to fall asleep, so I just want to get all of this stuff out of my suitcase and put away because that's where it should be. And I have put it off for four days now, so that's getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm also completely out of food. I just came home and had some peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's because I'm hungry, but I am gonna go to Trader Joe's in a little bit. It is date night and we are gonna be making carbonara. So my boyfriend loves to cook, which I love about him because growing up, like my dad also likes to cook, but my mom would make like the same probably like six or seven meals and just like rotate them throughout the weeks. And we just like ate the same things over and over, which is probably why I have the diet of like a 10 year old, which is fine. I love my chicken tenders and nuggets and that's not what my mom used to feed us. It was like different pasta dishes and Friday was always pizza. So we had like a very solid routine going, but I kind of like expanding my horizons and like learning how to cook from him and stuff like that and he just really enjoys it so I'm gonna do like a huge food shop and then also get stuff for the carbonara dish i don't know why i'm saying carbonara like such an american i mean obviously because i am american but it just sounds really really bad <laughs> but yeah so that is going to be the wednesday vlog it's basically just like cooking and all that kind of stuff which is very exciting for me because i don't really do that on my channel and it's because i don't really cook so I'm excited to like show you guys that because I feel like that's something a little bit new. Speaking of new, if you guys are new, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you. And I'm cranking out like three videos a week now for some reason. So lots of content for you guys to watch if you are interested in vlogs. And then I also do like styling and lifestyle videos in between those as well. But yeah, I would love to have you. So I am gonna just get all this stuff tidied up. Maybe I'll put you on a time lapse because the before and after is probably gonna be like pretty crazy. And then I need to get dressed because we're going to Trader Joe's. And I have a package that I need to show you guys really quickly too, because it just came today. I would like sit down on my bed and do like a full unbagging, but my bed is full of clothes. So I'm just gonna yank it out of the bag here. I don't know what is going on. This is a little out of control. I'm also getting a little bit overwhelmed because I'm finding a lot of stuff that I want to sell on Poshmark and stuff over the past couple days and I still haven't done that so that's gonna be next on the task list that's like number one priority all right so this 
stuff is all from Brunette the Label. Oh my gosh, you guys, the warm tone of white. This is like the creamiest, most marsh, the color of the stuff is called marshmallow. I got the sweatshirt in a medium and I'm gonna take it out and show you guys everything. I think I only got three pieces. So it'll be a quick little unboxing and I'll probably be wearing the shorts later. So we have, and I absolutely love the messages that they have on their stuff. They started with just like brunette. Oh my gosh, I got four. You guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so I started out with um, just doing like, oh, they started out, what am I saying? Doing just like sweatshirts that said brunette or blonde or whatever, and that's kind of like their claim to fame. But then they got into like doing other designs. So this one is the Kind Club, which I love because especially on social media, you can encounter a lot of people who think that their negative opinions matter. So they'll comment it all over any profile that you ever <laughs> make. And thank God I have a really gracious audience so far in my little social media journey. So I haven't experienced much of that, but I love that this is just like a huge physical message to everybody that sees it, that like we need more kindness in this world. And um, I absolutely love the color. You guys know that I'm a sucker for black and white. And then I got the matching shorts. So these are just plain marshmallow colored shorts. Yeah. And I got these in an extra small, small. And these are the ones that I'll probably wear. I most certainly cannot wear the sweatshirt out right now because it's actually 90 degrees, but I can probably do sweat shorts. So they are, you know, just your normal sweat shorts. I have a, um, what's it called? black pair of these from Make the Label that I am obsessed with and I wanted to add a little creamy color into my wardrobe especially for the summer. This with like my new children plus like basically any sneaker that I own because these are so neutral. I don't know why I just threw those on the ground. I'm so sorry. Um, but these with like any neutral sneaker will be so cute. And then I also got another crew neck. This is also like a really good message. It's still in that marshmallow color and it's because I wanted to like mix and match everything. And this one says, babes supporting babes in pink embroidery, which I think is adorable. Such a nice little detail, but again, like still sends a message. So I can mix and match the sweatshirts with the sweatshirts and then I can obviously wear like this one or um, no, probably, this sweatshirt I can wear with my black sweatshirts because there's black in it. Um, and yeah, denim. Those are gonna be so cute in the fall with like nice relaxed denim. I just throw it on a sweatshirt and sneakers when I'm going on errands and stuff. Um, and I think that is it. Okay, I'm gonna be a little psycho and recycle this tissue paper because anytime I see paper, I have to recycle it. That's just how I grew up. But okay, enough of the fun stuff. I need to get into the nitty gritty cleaning and picking up all of this stuff because we have company coming over. And um, I know it's just my boyfriend and we're obviously past that, but I don't know. There's just something about like being a host about like getting the space ready for people to come over and like making it presentable. And right now it's not presentable. So I need to go because he'll be here in like 10 minutes. And this is definitely like 18 minutes worth of cleaning. <laughs> Guys, little update. The baby's breath that I bought a couple of vlogs ago is still going strong. I don't know if it's going strong or if it's just like dying and it still looks pretty. <laughs> I just changed out the water because it was like pretty brown. Um, this candle is currently in the living room burning because I took the garbage out and it stinks. Um, and yeah, I just love this setup. I kind of like don't ever want to get rid of these things, but I do have a print that I was supposed to hang up when I moved in actually. And it's a nice like big print that would go like portrait ways here. And so I really want to get that up, but I've been procrastinating on buying a frame because all of them are so, like, why is a frame so expensive? Even on Amazon, it's like $48. And I'm like, why is the frame 50 bucks? Like that is so much for just wood, basically like an outline of wood. So I don't really know what's going on with that. I'm going to try to like keep looking at different places to get a frame because I think that this wall's like really, what's it called? Um, plain. And I'm not gonna have the flowers there forever, obviously. So I do want to get something hung there. But yeah, that's just a little dresser update. And I'm gonna tackle all of this loveliness. Sometimes I'm like, why? Why? All right, you guys, this is the fit. Didn't have time to put all the clothes away, so it's a mess behind me. But 
I just have an H&M tank top. I'm wearing the brunette shorts. I'm obsessed with them. And then we have sneakers, plus a little belt bag, even though I don't need it because I'm bringing these reusable bags to put the food in. Okay, let's go sweat. the fruits from Italy, but... No, but it's fun. It's a fun little market vibe. Yeah, I'd walk around in there for like an hour and a half mm -hmm. for fun. Morning, guys. Happy Friday. If you thought I was Jenna, I'm not. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's like way too soon from me putting... Well, I've put up Vanessa on my channel before, but some people have commented saying that they didn't know I had a twin, so here we are together again dressed basically the same <laughs> just in case you guys wanted to be confused but it's friday and we're about to walk into blank street of course so i'll try to you guys after but just wanted to play a little practical joke quickly <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're back at the apartment. My blank street is in my room. I think I'm just gonna throw some ice cubes in it and enjoy it on my commute in, which I didn't know was possible because I didn't think that I wanted to hold a coffee on my way in and like while I'm on the bus and stuff. Wow, I look like a ghost. <laughs> um, but I did it the other day because I tried Dunkin' coffee for the second time and it wasn't sucky. <laughs> so I got it in the bus terminal and then carried it and like held it on the way into work and it was fine. So that's what I'm gonna do with my little blank street because I don't have time really to drink it now. I have 20 minutes before I have to leave. Just packed breakfast, a little Trader Joe's croissant. I got these last time I went, but I got them on a Thursday, went home for the weekend on Friday and then came back on Monday after work and they were moldy. So I didn't even get to try them. But I am gonna, I was just putting my outfit together with Vanessa who's right here. <laughs> and we're gonna do the linen cropped blazer from Abercrombie that I tried on in one of my recent videos and then straight leg black trousers. Straight leg or tapered? No, because I want to wear my Converse, so I think that has to be straight leg. Yeah, just a little peek into my wardrobe that has to be cleaned out. So we're going with a black and white look. Gonna wear my Converse. Honestly, wish I could just wear this sweat set because it's Friday, but I'm sitting in on a seminar, so <laughs> that's unacceptable. And I'll be at work for a full day, woo! Even fuller, because, oh, and also that's why we were able to go get coffees together because um, I'm gonna be there till 6 p.m. So I'm taking the 8.30 bus instead of the normal 7.30 one. And so we had some extra time, which is so exciting because I didn't think I was gonna be able to vlog at all today because of my schedule. So doing a little morning check-in, um, I'm gonna go do my makeup quickly and not look like I just rolled out of bed. My hair is like three day, but it's like fine. I think I'm just gonna leave it in this clip. I don't have anything to present today. That was all yesterday. So I'm kind of just gonna be sitting in the back and taking everything in. So I don't need to look like insanely put together. And that's why we put on a nice outfit because it distracts from whatever this is. But I have my Tula sunscreen on gives a little glow because I'm not putting on face makeup. It kind of pills underneath makeup just as a, an FYI, but I love the finish of it. So when I'm not wearing face makeup, I put on the Tula sunscreen just cause gotta protect ourselves and the finish is really pretty. So Vanessa's leaving, unfortunately. So it's just gonna be me here this weekend. I'll be here Friday and Saturday. Ooh, I have some fun things going on on Saturday that I'm gonna take you guys to. So make sure 
you're subscribed. Oh, I was just thinking that I didn't intro this vlog, but I did it on Wednesday. I don't know what that means. Like when you say, hi, welcome to another vlog. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, Vanessa has, what do we have this weekend? We have a trip to Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. Um, I guess I could say it now because by the time we post this, we'll already know, but my best friend is engaged and she's doing this little beach weekend and I think she's going to ask us to be her bridesmaids. So exciting. First ever bridesmaid of us because Chloe's already been a bridesmaid. <laughs> Just us two. Um, none of my friends so far are getting married besides our one friend, Caitlin, that we like, we share that friend. These are school friends that Vanessa's going to see. So, um, yeah, she's going to be a bridesmaid, which is so exciting. And I can't wait till all my friends start getting engaged and stuff. Cause I just want to go to the wedding. I don't even need to be a bridesmaid because I just think it's so exciting. Also. Okay. Yes. I did unbox these sweats with you and I have a couple of other things that came yesterday that I have to try on slash show you. So maybe I'll do that as like an evening part of the Friday section of this vlog, just cause I do want to chat to you guys when I get back from work, but I need to sign off for now because I need to cover my dark circles <laughs> and lots of other things. So I'll talk to you guys after work. All right, you guys, I am back home from work in my little cozy onesie. I put this on almost immediately after I got in the door but I did just have to like sit down for a second because I have just had a very long day, another long week, and it's like eight o'clock now and I have to start making dinner in a second. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of the packages and ones over here. So these are just things that I've been collecting over the past couple days and wanted to show you. So I will get into this one first because it's already basically unboxed, but I put up a Pinterest like series inspo on my Instagram story. I do that like every week or like weekly. And I just like doing it because that's what inspires me. And that's kind of how I get ideas for outfits. And I feel like people like struggle the most with like getting dressed in the morning. So I like to put on like realistic outfits and like things that I would normally wear. So one of the photos was a nice little linen dress and I'll put the photo here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And it was, the most gorgeous dress ever and i had the thg shop dm me and they were like we have a dress that's exactly like this if you want us to send it to you and i was like that is the most amazing thing i've ever heard so they sent over the product photo i obviously was in love with the dress and it's basically almost the same as that one and this is it so it's a linen like nice little shift dress it has boning at the top of it which is really really pretty and then in the back there's a zipper and then it's a shirt material here, which I love because there's something with like online shopping. We all know it's really complicated, but when you're choosing your size or the size you think you are and you just have this extra give, it just helps the situation. So if I were to order a small and I actually needed a medium, maybe I can get away with this because it has a little bit of give in it. So I love that feature. I also think it's a really pretty detail. And I think this dress is 96. So it's a little bit pricier, but I think they do like, um, like a however percentage off your first order if you guys are first time shoppers there. And the quality of them is just unmatched. I've had the linen set for, I think it's been like a month. No, probably more than that. And I love the quality of that one. I've worn the pieces together. I've worn them separate and I was just so excited to receive this one. So I will probably style this tomorrow when I go and shoot and then switching gears into something that is not clothing related. I have a Peter Thomas Roth package here, which is so cute. I love their packaging, this like green and yellow. I feel like it's like lemons and limes, very summery. And this is their naturally serious collection. So we have makeup removing cleansing gel, always necessary and I'm almost done with my Good Molecules cleansing bar. So I'm gonna move on to this afterwards and I'll let you guys know how it is. I feel like I'm terrible with updating you guys on the products that I unbox. So if there's any questions that you guys have, I mean, I would let you guys know if something either didn't work or if it like gave me a reaction or anything, but so far I've been loving everything. And recently, so I've been using the Dr. Dennis Gross pads and I absolutely love them. Um, I've been using that for like over the past week and a half and they're amazing. So. 
Um, then we also have cold press peel pads. And these are, oh, a gentle exfoliant. Perfect. So they're like, I'm assuming, well, they're covered obviously. Um, but there's those little like pads that you can exfoliate your face with, like a nice little chemical exfoliant. And then we have an antioxidant moisture serum. And then we also have anti-dark circle eye cream. <laughs> you guys have heard me complain about my dark circles probably since like day one of my channel. And I still haven't found anything that works. Like, I guess it's because I don't really know what to put on it because there's like color correcting serums, but I think that's more for like scarring. Like this pimple that went away here is gonna need a little bit of color correcting, but I don't think that's necessarily for dark circles. So I love that they have a product that is specific to dark circles because if anybody needs it, I definitely do. So, you know, if anyone else has that problem out there, I'm gonna try out this product and see if it helps at all. I also started using, this is like completely random, but I was gonna talk to you guys about like a before and after picture, but I recently started using the teeth whitening pen from Colgate. I just ordered it off of Amazon because I noticed that, so I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I have a crown on this tooth. So sorry if like mouth stuff freaks anybody out, but I was 11 years old and I was in a fun house, like a clear glass maze inside of a fun house. And I basically walked into the clear glass wall and this tooth cracked and fell out. So I had to get root canal, ended up getting a bonding. Then the tooth was like turning a not cute color. So then I ended up getting a crown. And I had whitened my teeth a little bit right before getting the crown because they said they that we want your teeth to be like at the desired color before we give you the crown because the crown's permanent. Makes sense. So. I used a Colgate product back then and they don't make that pen anymore. So I decided to try a different one because I have very, very sensitive teeth, like to the point where I use Sensodyne, like an old lady. And so I was like, let me just use the Colgate one because it says it's safe on sensitive teeth and it uses peroxide to whiten your teeth. So I've been using that. I've only used it twice so far. It says within one week, you'll see a difference. I'm going to be honest. I noticed a difference already, but I'm not going to show you guys until it's like blatant. Um, but I took a before picture for that and then maybe I'll take a before picture for the dark circle product to see if it helps at all, which I'm crossing my fingers that it does because I've been dealing with my super dark circles since, you know, the beginning of time <laughs> and I would love to have a product that can help with that. So then this is a very exciting package from Revolve and I have, I think a total of four things coming from them, but a lot of them are coming tomorrow and... I think Sunday. So I'm gonna, I can't decide if I wanna like try all this stuff on for you guys or wait until I get all the pieces in and then try everything on. So TBD, but I'll show you guys this one shirt. So this is actually a part of a matching set and it is by the brand House of Harlow, but it's this nice black crochet top. It has two ties in the center, which I would tie like fully shut. And then it just has like this open work detailing, which I think is so pretty. And I love this because of course you guys know that I am addicted to sets because I just think they're so versatile. You can wear them separately together, like I mentioned earlier. And so you can wear this with jeans and heels to go to dinner. You can wear it with jeans and sneakers if you're just like walking around doing something casual and then the set together, which when the shorts arrive, I will show them to you guys, but I haven't gotten them yet. So. I will probably wait to try this one on because I do want to try it on for you like as a whole look. And then I have a couple other things that are coming too. I have all my Revolve favorites linked in every single one of my videos since I started making um, Revolve favorites. So you'll see them in the description box in every single one of my videos um, since I started that. And something that I just want to stress, I feel like there's such a bad connotation associated with Revolve and that it's like pricey and all this stuff. but. The pricey stuff is good quality. So if you're someone who's like looking to move away from shopping at like H&M and like buying tons of stuff and just having like one really nice blouse that'll serve you so much longer than like a cheap shirt from H&M, like trust me, I do it too. Like I, I'm trying to like move away from it, but it's kind of hard because the prices are so good and I do like H&M and Zara's design. So I haven't fully moved away from that. But in terms of like, my Revolve favorites, it's a lot of like under a hundred, like I don't want to call it affordable because I know a hundred dollars for something isn't necessarily affordable for everybody. But the stuff that I chose, it's like, you know, 
40 to $50 tops and things like that and dresses that are like $75, which is like a whole outfit. So you can kind of justify a little bit more. So definitely check those out. I will show you guys the other pieces when they come in. But for right now, I need to make dinner because I'm so hungry and I've just had the longest week and I don't want to talk about it any longer because complaining about it is not going to make it any better and it's already over. So I'm actually going to watch, I want to watch, I feel like Netflix has some new like Netflix original movies. And I don't really, it's so weird because I, ever since I started doing YouTube, I don't really like watch TV that much anymore. I'll watch other people's channels or I'll be editing my own videos in my free time. So I don't really watch TV that often. And I kind of feel like a weirdo for saying that, but I'm gonna check to see if they have anything. I'm just having a chill Friday night in. I texted Christina to see if she wanted to get drinks, but she's home for the weekend. so. I'm just gonna chill, have a little night to myself, which I think is definitely necessary. And I'm gonna try to find a show to watch or a, um, I think, what is that movie? I don't know. I think there's a new movie out. Oh, Persuasion. That's what it is with Dakota really Johnson and the guy from Crazy Rich Asians. I don't know his name, but I love Dakota Johnson. So I wanna watch that video, video, movie. <laughs> and then I'll probably watch some YouTube videos mixed in there too. So. That's the plan for Friday. I don't have much going on for the rest of tonight. I am gonna just make an easy dinner because I was going to make um, like ground turkey and like season it and stuff and make like a little burrito, but I don't know if I have the energy for that now, if I'm being honest. And yeah, sometimes the plan just changes. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here because I have a lot going on tomorrow. I have really exciting things that you guys will find out about in the next video. So I don't want to give anything away. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you. Um, I hope you guys are loving all the vlogs and we have lots of New York City content coming up this weekend. So I'm really excited for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.